biggest candy chooses. Hello, my and beauties. Welcome to my channel. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I want to say a huge welcome to you as well. And if you are a boss like me, then you want to definitely check out this review. So please continue to watch. So today's review is going to be my opinion and an unboxing and a show and tell on some makeup that was gifted to me by El Maquillage. I hope I'm saying that right. Let me tell you a bit about El Maquillage. They are a brand that is geared towards the maximalist, not the minimalist, and they are everything boss. They're all about bringing out that beat in everyone. Bzz, stink. Anyways, so they have some great makeup, about 40 shades of foundation, I believe. They have everything from lipsticks to eyes to brows, you name it, brushes, everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into this makeup and show you some of the swatches. When you receive your bag, it will look like this. And it says, more is more. Huge bag, so luxury. The way they brand this is gorgeous. And then you get this little, or I can't say a little, this black box. And it says Il Maquillage, New York. They do have a store here in New York, so that's the lid. And then when you open up the box, you have this with this little stamp of seal on it, which is super dope and elegant. And it says Il Maquillage paper and some wrapping. So I'm gonna open that. And when you open that up, empty box. You expose the palette. So this is the Color Boss Pro Palette, big reputation. I do like the packaging, good quality as far as the box. I do like the color scheme of it. So let's get into this. Here is the package and it is a sleeve. Now they do have a cover for it. It looks somewhat like an iPad cover, but it's sold separately and I believe it's $10. And this palette retails at $119 or 115, but I'll leave all that information down below. They had gifted me a gift card and I was able to buy, you know, whatever I wanted for that $100 gift card. And I chose to get the palette. I'm all about shadows. You guys know I love me some shadows. So this is how it comes. Unfortunately, I had accidentally dug my fingernails in here. That's the only con because the sleeve easily slips off, as you can see. The sleeve literally slips off. And when I took it out the box, I was taking it out the box, it slipped out of the sleeve, and I accidentally dug my nails into the palette, which <laughs> sucks, but we're still good to go. So these are the shades. Now I'm gonna read off the shades going from left to right. The first shade would be Sorry Not Sorry, Eyes on the Prize, Bottoms Up, End Game, Carry On, Scandal, Own It, News Flash, and at the bottom we have Shopaholic, Do Your Thing, Red Bottom, and Killing It. So that is what we have. Even though this looks like this should be Red Bottom, I don't know. Unfortunately, the labels are on the back instead of the front. So I'm hoping those are in order. Now the real reason why I brought this palette is because I saw this swatch right here and this is gorgeous. Now I currently have that on my lid right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that. So you can see what that looks like. So that's the one I have on my lid. And then I have this one directly next to it as a crease. Let's swatch that. So that is a matte. So as, as you can see, I use it as a crease color. It doesn't really show up on my skin, so it's perfect. It has a mixture of five mattes and seven shimmers with a total of 12 eyeshadows. Now I'll go ahead and swatch a couple of them so you can see. I honestly got it for the shimmers because when I saw them swatched, I was like, oh my gosh, look at this. I'll even swatch this right here. Now there is no fallout as of right now. I'm not seeing any fallouts with this. So they're really good consistency, very good quality, very creamy. Let me go ahead and show you how it looks on my lid. So that is what it's looking like. I have Shopaholic on my lid, and then I have Do Your Thing on the outer lid. And then on the inner lid, I have the, which one is this? Killing It. So I have Killing It right here in the beginning of my eyelid. And that's the look I use to create. And as far as the brow bone, I use a little bit of this bottoms up right here on my brow bone. These are pretty pigmented. Look at this. I'll let you see what another matte looks like. So this is another matte. 
I'll swatch it here. And then I'll do a darker brown. And I'll swatch it here. I'm so glad I chose a theater palette. Oh, see, like I said, this is this is the only con that you have to be careful for because it will just slip out and you don't want to lose your grip on this, especially for the price range that this is. As far as the price point, it is pretty steep. If it's in your budget, I would say go for it. The shadows are really nice, but they do come in quads and singles. So if you want to do singles or quads, they have this really, really, really dope shade that I want to try and it's called YOLO. It's this gorgeous shade of blue. Hopefully I'll get my hands on it and I can show you guys what I'm talking about. If this is in your price range, you know, I would say go for it. Like I said, they're all about boss. It is more of a luxury side to makeup. I do want to try lipsticks. I think they're matte. So I want to say huge thank you to Il Maquillage for gifting me this product or the gift card and allow me to get this product and I do like it I do think it's good quality as far as affordability it may not be for everyone's budget but if it is for yours I would say it's good I'm gonna definitely try something else from them let me know what you guys think about this makeup if you purchased it before or what you think about the shadows or the review please like subscribe comment and share and as always stay fabulous and be your own vision of beauty till next time bye Dubai.